Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to install Rust and run your first Rust program on your Mac. To do this, we're going to be needing Terminal. If you don't know where to find this, you can just click on a little icon up there, a little magnifying glass, and you can type in Terminal right in the search. And Terminal should come right up, and you click on it right there. Luckily for me, I have mine in my dock. So we'll just open it up from right here. As you can see, I already started working on some projects before. So we'll just go ahead and clear it. That's as simple as that. Now to run Rust, you have to go online and go on rust-lang.org and download the version for your PC or your computer or your Linux machine, your Linux box. And then I'd like you to download an editor. For this, we'll be needing an editor. I'll be using VIM editor, Vim editor. For you guys, you can use Notepad++ or you can use any other editor as long as you like it. My editor, I use it because this is color coded and it helps me with my syntax. So first, we need to move to my desktop. But first, let's close it and start again. So you guys need a full grasp of what's going on. So your terminal. Might take a little time to start up. All right, so we need to go to our desktop in order to start. So we say CD D-E-S-K-T-O-P. That brings you to your desktop. Now you're currently on your desktop. Now to create your first Rust program, you're gonna to need to create a file. To do this, you call your file editor, which is VIM for us, which is Vim editor we're using. Today we're gonna to call this um we're gonna call it hello hello hello.rs. Now RS is the extension for Rust codes. You need this. This is extremely important for you to run run codes, for you to run Rust codes, or else it'd be just like an other file editor. You go ahead and you click enter. Now you've just created your file, so this is your VM editor. Hello! Nice VM editor for you guys. Now the first thing you guys need to do is press, if you realize you cannot click it, you have to press I, which is insert mode. Now you're in insert mode, so you're just gonna go online, find a nice little code. There should be one somewhere here. Here's a nice little Rust code. You can copy it, very simple. Control C and you paste it right here and there you go a simple paste now you go down you press escape and everybody press escape and you press colon it's prepared on the bottom of the screen right here at this area colon w which is for save and q which is for quit you can do this separately but i, I like to do it together this will bring you back to your terminal after saving your documents which we'll do right now so there you are guys, you are presented with your code being saved. So here is your code down here, it is just saved, it is saved to your desktop. Now we need to see how to run your code. Now to do this, it is extremely easy guys. I'm going to show you a tutorial online so you can check it out. It's this video, you can check this guy out, he's really good at it. He showed you step by step how to do it. So I'm going to put you right beside it, put you right beside each other guys so you can look at it. You guys can check it and follow me. Okay, so you guys are going to type in right here. You just created your file, so we're right here, right? So you're going to type in ls space colon ltr. You want to see everything on your desktop. There you go. You're presented with everything currently on your desktop. What you need to type in now is rust, rust, c, and our code, which was h-e-l-l-o, hello, dot r-s, okay? And you go ahead and you press enter. You run it. Now it's compiling my code. It's making me see what is at each step in the compiler, each variable. If I have any errors or any warnings, it'll come up right here. So let's see, it's taking a little time. My computer is a bit slow. I have a lot of apps running at one time and a lot of tabs open. Sorry guys, I'm currently doing my research for my class. It's a bit hard. I'm a little busy student, full-time student here. Okay, so we have that running perfectly. We didn't get any errors or any warnings, which is good. So we press full stop, colon, H E. L L O and that's it. We press enter and it should come up. Hello. And there we go. Hello world. It's as simple as that guys. If you have any questions about this, leave it in the query below. I'll be more than happy to help you guys in 